These foxes are all forces to be reckoned with. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And the obstero f***ing pricks move! And I'll execute every mother f***ing last one of you! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 female Quentin Tarantino characters. For this list, we're taking a look at the most compelling, complex, and kick-ass women that Mr. Tarantino had a hand in creating. Hey, them's the rules, baby. Warren says it, we do it! I love that philosophy! Number 10. L Driver, aka California Mountain Snake. Kill Bill Franchise. What's her condition? Comatose. Before confronting the titular Bill, the bride must cross four other names off her death list five. At the top of this list is crime boss Oren Ishii, but the bride saves L Driver for her penultimate kill. Sounds like we got a deal. One condition. What? She must suffer to her last breath. Based on her eye patch, it's clear that L's past is riddled with blood and betrayal. Unlike the bride, however, L could never win Bill's affection or earn Master Pai Mei's respect. I called him a miserable old fool. I killed that miserable old fool. Fueled by jealousy and hate, this member of the deadly Viper assassination squad takes pleasure in leaving her greatest rival for dead. Elle also earned the nickname California Mountain Snake, as she often poisons her enemies when they least expect it. When swords clash, however, the smart money is always on Black Mamba. <laughs> Number 9. Zoe Bell – Death Proof I'm okay! Blown away by her work as Uma Thurman's stunt double in Kill Bill, Tarantino decided to cast Zoe Bell in a leading role written specifically for her. So let's hear it, ladies. Sarah Bromances. Who's getting it off? In this self-aware exploitation flick, Bell plays herself and even performs her own stunts, too. As a stunt woman, this spirited New Zealander likes to live on the edge. That was a close one. While test driving a 1970 Dodge Challenger, Zoe jumps at the chance to go car surfing. However, her joyride is rudely interrupted by the sadistic stuntman Mike. But Zoe's cat-like reflexes assure that she always lands on her feet. <laughs> much like the plucky Abernathy, Zoe is much stronger than her predator anticipates. Crossing paths with Zoe and her friends is the biggest mistake of Stuntman Mike's life. Where's the maniac? <sighs> I shot him and his punk ass sped off. You wanna go get him? Number 8. Mallory Wilson Knox. Natural Born Killers. Based on a Tarantino story concept, this Oliver Stone film observes the world through the eyes of two serial murderers, Mickey Knox and his better half, Mallory. I do. For all eternity, until you and I die, and die, and die again, till death do us part. This homicidal woman remembers her upbringing as if it were a sitcom, but her family wasn't exactly the Brady Bunch. Falling in love with Mickey, Mallory is encouraged to kill her rapist father and negligent mother. It's just that I don't want you to clog up your arteries and just keel over here at the table. <laughs> Mallory isn't incapable of showing empathy, though as demonstrated when Mickey kills a kindly Native American man. But she seems to take pride in senselessly gunning down innocent people. I'm not really as bad as they say I am. I'm actually a really nice person. In Mallory's sick mind, the only thing purer than murder is her love for Mickey. Because nothing says romance like mass murder, apparently. I see angels, Mickey. They're coming down for us from heaven. Number 7. Broomhilda Hilde Von Schaft, Django Unchained. You scare me. Why is I'm scaring you? Because you scare me. This character's bizarre name plays homage to the German opera Siegfried and the black exploitation classic Shaft. Separated from her husband Django, Broomhilda is moved to Calvin Candy's plantation, Candyland. You see, under the laws of Chickasaw County, Broomhilda here is my property. And I can choose to do with my property whatever I so desire. She could have been written as a typical damsel in distress for Django to rescue, but Tarantino has more respect for his female characters than that, never turning them into mere victims. Voice there. Er steht direkt hinter dieser Tür. 
Hildy is humiliated and mistreated throughout much of the film, but her spirit is never broken, even when facing the most brutal treatment imaginable. Hildy hangs on to the hope that she'll be reunited with her one true love. This may fail. This little troublemaker knows when to keep her head down, but when opportunity knocks, she'll fight for her freedom. Hey, big troublemaker. When you see me, use a gun. When you see me, use a gun. Number 6. Alabama Whitman True Romance. I had to come all the way from the highways and byways of Tallahassee, Florida to Motor City, Detroit to find my true love. Directed by Tony Scott and written by Tarantino, this flick is like a romantic comedy on cocaine. At the center of the film is a hooker with a heart of gold named Alabama Whitman. I'm gonna go jump in the tub and get all wet and slippery and soapy and then hop in that water bed and watch X-rated movies till you get your ass back in my loving arms. Sharing a mutual affection for Elvis and kung fu movies, this passionate working girl falls head over heels for Clarence Worley. Alabama subsequently decides to get married and leave her call girl lifestyle behind, resulting in an escapade that involves drugs, murder, and of course, love. I think what you did was. What? I think what you did. What? Was so romantic. It's impossible not to be won over by Alabama's bubbly personality and charm. But she's much more than just a pretty woman. She knows how to take a punch without cracking under pressure. More importantly, she knows how to punch back too. Stick it in me. Go ahead. Come on. Come on! Come on! Number 5. Daisy Domergue, The Hateful Eight. When you get to hell, John, <laughs> tell him Daisy sent you. Tarantino has described this character as the Wild West equivalent of Susan Atkins, one of Charles Manson's most notorious followers. Oh, you can kill us all, but you'll never spend a cent of that bounty money, and you'll never leave this mountain alive. A member of her brother's gang, Daisy doesn't mind having blood on her hands, or her face for that matter. Nicknamed the Prisoner, Daisy is captured by bounty hunter John Ruth, who plans on taking her to Red Rock to be hanged. And why is her hanging proper so important to you? Let's just say I don't like cheating a hangman, he gotta make a living too. Although this fearsome outlaw goes along for the ride, it's clear that she has a few tricks up her sleeve. Despite her hostile, depraved nature, Daisy still manages to be a lovable character albeit in a very strange, twisted way. How are you doing, dummy? Better. Now I see your ugly face. Because of this, it's hard not to hope she'll escape Ruth's clutches, even if she kind of deserves to die. We're just waiting for everybody to go to sleep. That's what we're gonna kill you. Number 4. Mia Wallace. Pulp Fiction. Now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. So dance good. Mia Wallace is every man's dream woman. While she's undeniably a bombshell, Mrs. Wallace's eccentric personality is her most attractive trait. Hello? Push the button if you want to talk. Hello? Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Married to mob boss Marcellus Wallace, Mia isn't content with just being a trophy wife that lounges around the house all day. Possessing a lust for life, this playful woman loves to get out and try new things. I said, God damn! Mia may be a little too adventurous for her own good, however. After mistaking heroin for cocaine, she overdoses and nearly dies on Vincent Vega's watch. <laughs> Even so, Mia is still an absorbing conversationalist. Whether she's talking about her failed TV series, 50s nostalgia, or uncomfortable silences, she's a pretty good dancer too. But when the sun went down, the rapid tempo of the music fell. Number 3. Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown. Hello. Hey, surprise. I walk right past you. I know, ignoring me. Inspired by the heroines of various black exploitation films, Jackie Brown appears to be an ordinary flight attendant at first glance. After she's caught smuggling cash and cocaine into the US, though, Jackie emerges as a master of manipulation. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? What's this shit? Using her wits, charms, and sexuality, this middle-aged woman takes advantage of her circumstances, 
If all goes according to plan, she'll walk away with her freedom and a substantial payday. The way I see it, you and me got one motherfucking thing to talk about. One thing. And that's what you are willing to do for me. The audience can rarely tell whether Jackie is playing the cops, her arms trafficking boss, or her bail bondsman. All anyone knows for sure is that she's in complete control of the situation. Almost everyone underestimates just how calculating Jackie truly is, which makes her the most powerful player in the game. I'm not sure you answered my question, Matt. Number 2. Shoshana Dreyfus, Inglorious Bastards. Although the cast of Inglorious Bastards is primarily male, this film has no shortage of fascinating female characters. After Nazis massacre her entire family, Shoshana Dreyfus flees to Paris, but not simply to hide. This resilient Jewish woman is just waiting for her chance to exact her revenge. She's given a golden opportunity when a Nazi propaganda film is set to premiere at her movie theater. Much like German actress Bridget von Hammersmark, Shoshana proves herself to be a crafty and cunning heroine in the plot to kill Hitler and other Nazi leaders. Je te suis pas. De quoi parlons-nous? De remplir le cinéma nazi et le détruire par le feu. Shoshana gets payback in the most epic fashion possible literally setting the screen ablaze. <laughs> Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I don't think you're worthy of human blood. You feed on the blood of stray dogs. Bingo! Sochu wa Black Mamba. Uwasa ga hitori yaru kishiteru mitai da ne. Excuse me. What? Where are you taking us? Mexico. What's in Mexico? Mexico. I don't give a damn what men find attractive. It's unfortunate what we find pleasing to the touch and pleasing to the eye is seldom the same. Number 1. Beatrix Kiddo, aka The Bride, Kill Bill franchise. I've killed a hell of a lot of people to get to this point. The last one. Whether you want to call her the bride, Beatrix Kiddo, Arlene Machiavelli, or Black Mamba, nobody can deny that this badass woman embodies everything we love about Tarantino's work. Waking up from a coma after getting shot in the head four years earlier, our driven heroine sets out to get her revenge. Her goal might be simplistic, but the bride is one of Tarantino's most complex characters. Welcome to Arrow. May I help you? Okinawa. One way. Wishing to leave her violent past behind, this former assassin seeks out a new identity. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? You know, for a second there? Yeah, I kind of did. When Bill takes the potential for a better life away from her, retribution is the only thing that keeps her going. Once she finally tracks Bill down, the bride not only finds vengeance, but a reason to keep living as well. My, 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 what a pretty little girl you are. You're pretty too, mommy. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite female Quentin Tarantino character? Ah, uh, no doubt. Have a nice ride. <laughs> <laughs> For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. I'll send you a postcard. Will you? I share a little partner.